Good morning and welcome back to Burner Brothers. An interesting thing happened. Um, my mom hosts Thanksgiving every year and this year she got sick and couldn't host it. So Silica and I did a last minute hosting of Thanksgiving. And so uh, yesterday, that's a, yesterday we were trying to get ready for that event and my car was full. Well, Kate is coming in uh, and we're gonna be doing a live auction. And so I have to get my car undone. Uh, and this was Thanksgiving morning and I have to get my car unloaded so that I can be ready for her for Friday for our event that we're gonna have. So I'm pulling into our auction right now. And what I'm gonna do is take you with me as I unbox this load of antiques I bought yesterday off of a friend of mine. He's a dealer that picks for us a lot. Uh, he gives me a lot of very good estates. He's, he's, he's a really good picker. and. Uh, uh, we've we've just done enough business over the years that um, I just he gives me a list and I just I just write him a check and then uh, I explore what I actually got from him uh, from that. So I'm inviting you guys to do that with me today. The group that we are going to look through there's a lot of silver uh, coins in it. There are uh, there's some Tiffany, uh, some Heron. He said there was some Heron collection, some good porcelains, and we've got maybe I don't know a dozen boxes of stuff here. I'm gonna sort through and unbox, and uh, let's let's do this together. I figured it'd be a fun thing to do um, today, and then uh, here in about an hour, I have to get back up to my house and get ready to host Thanksgiving. So uh, let's go. So what is so interesting is today there is absolutely no traffic. This is Thanksgiving morning and uh, I've been out here for just a couple of minutes and there hasn't been a car go by. It reminds me a little bit of the COVID times. I finally see one coming from the other direction. But uh, yeah, let's go get some work done. So this is what we're gonna start with. We've got these boxes here and then we've got these boxes here. So, okay, so I've got my pile off my car. It's out of the car. And this is the group we're going to work through, uh, and we're going to just go through it. There's a lot. I haven't seen what's inside these boxes yet. Uh, I bought all of these again off my friend, and I'll explain it as we go through it on how I did it and what I buy and what I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, let's start. Okay, guys. Again, uh, a lot of times when I buy, um, I'm, I, I, I bought off dealers or friends for long periods of times, and they know what I'm looking for. And so we, we have an understanding before I buy the items of uh, what kind of prices I'll pay. And, um, you know, if there's ever an issue or something, we, they would take care of it immediately. That's the trust that I built with my, my, my friends that I deal with over the years. And so this group that I'm getting ready to start unboxing, um, how I bought this stuff is I got a list. Uh, here's my list. And I'll talk about each thing as I go through. And so when you, when you see my list, literally... Um, let's see if I can show. Yeah, something like that. That's my list, um, and it's just got the items written down. And so this first box right here um, is what I paid for. I paid fourteen hundred dollars for this. This is a group of gold and silver coins. I don't think there's gold. It's all silver, uh, silver rounds and silver coins. Uh, so here, here's how it starts. Um, this this box right here. This starts off with these are all silver dimes. Uh, so we're just going to unpack it. I'll sort it into lots later. I just wanted to see what I actually got here. Uh, here's a nice American Eagle. These are always silver. Uh, original box, probably. Yeah, just really nice uh, American Silver Eagle. And a lot of times he'll uh, he'll pick this stuff up out of the states, and, and uh, you know he gets it bought where he knows he can sell it to me. That we can we can then uh, put it up at auction. And these are. Some uncircular, this stuff's cold, so it's starting to frost over. If you can't see it too well, it's because it's frosting. Uh, but there's there's two more. Um, this is interesting. Now these are silver nickels. Here's a whole roll of silver nickels. And that was, what year did they do that? It was during the war when, uh, hold on, let's see what the date on these. Um, I mean, somebody, one of the viewers is gonna know the exact date. But if I'm not mistaken, it's when uh, it was too expensive. They, they, silver was more readily available because they needed the other materials for the war. So, um, so we have silver nickels instead. And then these are all, uh, here's some more silver dollars. Here's some one ounce silver bars. Uh, here's a whole collection of silver ha uh, half dollars. These are all Franklin and Kennedy halves, uh, walking liberties. And I usually do pretty well with these at auction. Uh, that's a 1945S, and these will bring me uh, on a low side, uh, generally anywhere 
uh, $10 for any of my half dollars and then they'll go up to 20. Uh, sometimes I'll get more depending on the condition and, and, and such, but in that range. And then here's another whole group and we, there's some silver dollars in here. This is really nice actually. There's a, here's a nice 18, 1883 O. Uh, that's in good shape. So that'll, that'll do really well. Here's an 1890 O. That'll do well. A 1921 S is okay. Here's an 1886, and this thing looks like a BU almost. It's it's really clean, um, really really nice condition on that one. And then an 1898 silver dollar. So there's a lot of silver dollars in this group. Um, here's a mint set. This is a, a. I might as well show you. This is fun. Uh, mint sets are they're always desirable. This is the Columbus. A Columbus Quinn, I don't know how you say this the right way, Quinn Century Coin, I guess is how you would say it. And it's silver, it's another silver round. Uh, just really nice. And again, I'm seeing all of this stuff for the first time uh, as a group. So let's just see what else we got in here. I like another silver dollar I like. Here's another American Eagle, uh, un unboxed, or still boxed up, never unboxed. A Washington Silver Quarter. Uh, so a nice box, collector's box, and here's a silver, a silver on the inside. And most of this, when I say silver, is uh, you know is is like coin silver, all all the dollars and all that. But but a lot of this will be 999 silver bullion type stuff, um, especially these. So we have here our uh, a case of. Let me open these up and show you here. They look like uh, walking or American Eagles, yeah. So here is a case, and they're not all full. So there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's twenty three of these, uh, and this one is dated twenty fifteen. And these are nice American Eagles. They're silver. those in there and we start all this at a dollar each at the auction and so that's the that's the first group of my lot so I'm gonna move these on down let's put these down here and let's go on and see what we have next and now this is just some paperwork now this is this is a fun group here now um, let me do the, let me do the gold first. I love buying gold from this gentleman because he always sells it to me at a very fair price. Um, so a lot of times on this gold, uh, he'll sell me really nice finished finished pieces at the uh, right at the scrap level or a little over, um, and, and he'll have it all pre-sorted for me in 10, 14, and 18 karat. And so that's what this is. So let's just kind of look through real quick some of the pieces and this is the 10 karat piece 10 karat gold 10 karat um and the 18 karat and he and i get a lot of diamonds from this gentleman and uh, we've just done so many i mean when i say a lot of business i mean we, we've done hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in business through the years maybe millions by now i don't know it's been a lot um, and so I, I've just learned to trust you. Who knows what I want and what I need to make money. And so look at the diamond cocktail ring. That is all diamonds all the way through. I haven't, I haven't seen it again. This is my first time seeing it, but that's a beautiful piece. And this bag here is all 18 karat that we are pulling out of now. Um, check out the bangle bracelet. That is wonderful. All engraved gold bangle bracelet, 18 karat gold. And we, we confirm everything. We test everything as well. Um, and I, if I have ever had an issue, he's immediately just uh, taking care of it. But uh, he's, he's really good. Uh, this guy knows what he's doing. He's a professional uh, estate dealer um, and he knows what we're looking for. And so, so I like to work with professionals because they know what I want. And, and I'm, again, competitive on how I buy. So uh, we, we work really well with professionals. But that was a fun group of 18. Uh, and then this would be all 14 karat. Another really gorgeous gold bangle bracelet. And these are all solid too, 14 karat gold. Uh, the watch is fun. Now this is a diamond watch. Yeah, this is a gorgeous diamond watch. 
I'll have to get my glasses out and the loop on to see the actual maker and how many diamonds there are. And we'll, we'll do our part too. And we'll confirm everything. Again, we'll, we'll definitely uh, double check that all the marks are correct and uh, the, the gold test the way it's, it's described. And again, just really nice 14 karat gold. And there's some other pieces of 14 karat in there. Okay, so I'm gonna move on. So we got two groups of gold there. We have a 14, 10, a three groups, 10, 14, and 18. And so I'm gonna put that down here. This is a really fun piece. This is an Omega Constellation with the original box. Um, he told me that he got this one directly from the gentleman that bought it. And so it's an Omega Constellation. Uh, original box directly from the previous owner uh, the first owner the only owner uh, and uh, i mean it's barely worn it looks like it's got an ostrich skin uh, band on it so that's fun and then he's wrote out all the year and everything on here uh, 1956 this is a really really cool piece Let me put that one down here uh, this is the piece that i'm the most excited about though Again, the same, the same collection that a lot of this came from, and this is all, all good, it's all original. This is a Bulgari diamond face watch. That is so cool. Uh, Bulgari diamond face watch. If you can see that, it's, it's, it's guaranteed 100%, uh, all good, straight, straight through. Um, you know, again, we, we, we like working with professionals because they know what we're looking for. And then I get stuff like uh, Bulgari watches and Tiffany and Cartier and um, all these sorts of things from this, this specific dealer. And then everything else in there is just miscellaneous uh, jewelry. I wanna move on to the smalls so we can see what all we got from that. All right, um, let's have a look. Oh, Tiffany Studios, okay, Tiffany Studios. He told me there was a really good piece of Tiffany and he actually unwrapped this one piece when I was picking the deal up to show me, because this thing is absolutely stunning. Check out the Tiffany uh, Favril. Beautiful piece of Tiffany. Again, this guy is an excellent picker. He's, he has uh, bought stuff for me uh, for the past 10 or 15 years I've worked with him. And he just wants someone that he can trust to work with and uh, that he knows he can sell his rarities to and get fair prices out of. And sometimes we'll split profits on deals and sometimes we'll, uh, I'll just buy them from him. So everything, every deal is always a little bit different as far as the, uh, you know, what we actually do. But I can tell you this is that, uh, this, this guy has became a great friend and, uh, over the years and he still, still picks a lot for me and he finds me really wonderful pieces like this. I mean, that's, that's like a pulled feather in there, all original. And I, and I think this piece will probably bring, um, you know, anywhere from twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 up to 18 to 22. Uh, that should be the range that this piece should sell for. So let me put this down here and get it in a case. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Now I have not seen anything else that we've got that I'm unpacking. Um, so here we go. This is cool, this is a KPM, it's all hand painted, uh, KPM porcelain. Put that one on down. So what happens next is this is all for the auction. Uh, wedge, Wedgewood, <laughs> we had a lot of Wedgewood last week. This is all for the auction and after I get it all unpacked, then uh, you know we'll get it all photographed, cataloged, and this will sell in two weeks. Uh, actually, yeah, it'll be two weeks because uh, we don't have a sale today. Today is Thanksgiving morning. Um, I told my wife I was going to run down here and unbox this with you guys um, since we're having Thanksgiving at our house. And then I'm going to go back to our house and we are going to start preparing. So it's in the morning. Um, the rest of my family, Josh and, and all of them are on uh, our traditional uh, Thanksgiving morning. Our whole family. Look at that Wedgwood. Another really nice piece. But our whole family, they, they do a traditional uh, hunt. Um, they've done it for 70 years, and I, I don't do that, uh, but they do. Uh, they have a lot of fun with it. i just just seen them for about 10 minutes. And then Lucas is actually out doing a turkey trot this morning. So it's just me and you guys. We are all here together. Uh, and I thought, let's just go unbox this stuff and see what all we got. Really cool piece of cloisonne. I like it. So I'm gonna keep unboxing at a faster rate here. Um, than I have been so far. And we'll try and get through this and I'll show you as I go. That is cool. Art glass, now this is signed. Uh, I cannot make it out without my glasses on. I'll look at it later, but cool, cool, cool piece 
of art glass. This is what gets me excited about this, this specific person. Um, when I get their stuff, I know that it's all gonna be very high quality. Okay, now there's a, this is a storybook doll collection. Uh, I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can see this. So there's a whole group of storybook dolls. I'm gonna leave those, the rest of those right there in the box. They're all, Ma they look like Madam Alexander's. Yeah, and there's another, here's a big Madam Alexander doll here. So another Madam Alexander. Oh, here's another piece of this glass. Henry Levine, oh, that is so cool. Now that is something that uh, Crazy Lamp Lady, you, Jocelyn, I think that's up your alley right there. Your customers would love that. Um, tomorrow, we are, I'm doing a live sale of Kate, which I'm gonna video some live behind the scenes um, on a whatnot sale with Kate. She's putting the sale on, I'm just uh, giving her the supplies to sell. I've never done one before, so we're gonna try it. And then uh, here's a couple more pieces. Yadro, um, these are probably like English, the Royal Wooster probably. Yeah, they're signed on the inside. Um, this one's German, this one's English. Little, um, yeah, my mind just went blank. Thimbles, they're little thimbles. Anyways, our live sale on whatnot, we are going to have, um, never done one before, outside of that pop-up one we did a week, a week and a half ago. So Kate asked me if she could come back over and we do a live sale together. And, uh, and, I, and I said, yeah, she can run it. I can watch how it's, 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 I want to understand it more. I've applied to sell on whatnot. I just haven't been accepted yet. So uh, maybe they don't trust me. I don't know. Uh, Tiffany Favril Vase. This one is signed. Um, beautiful piece. It's signed LCT. Again, this is out of the same, the same collection my friend picked up for us. And I have not seen, that was the first I've seen that one. I hadn't seen that one before. Oh, great paperweight. Look at that, that's gorgeous paperweight. When we talk about paperweights, if you watched, if you watched my video yesterday uh, during Thanksgiving the special, Miss Pat has hundreds of paperweights. A very, very cool collection. All right, um, don't wanna break anything. Here we go. Another piece of Wedgwood, a little blue box on the Wedgwood. So this, the rest of this is dolls. Let me go ahead and put those down here so we can get all this lined up so you guys can see it. And we'll keep going on the boxes. Uh, next item I have here, and I'm just gonna tilt the camera so you can see this. We, we sell a lot of sterling silver here uh, at the auction. This set right here has 88.17 troy ounces to it. Uh, and it's a set of sterling, and it's this one right here. Just a fun set with the original original uh, packing, you know, the the box, the 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 cloth, and all that. But a lot of times we don't we don't keep them in those. We we'll get rid of those because they're just add to shipping an an un unnecessary cost to the shipping of these items. So this is a set of sterling. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we have a, a statehood quarter collection. So all of the states quarters. Um, there's two books, all statehood quarters. You just set those there. Okay, so this one here has a, a tag on it that says fragile. So this one, this one's be interesting. Fragile tag. Um, I can get it open. Don't have my scissors back here. All right. Ooh, that is cool. I like it. There it is, right here. No, that's German. Okay, that's Dresden, Dresden. Wonderful Dresden uh, porcelain figurine. Again, this is the first time that I have seen this. I'll show you the mark. Uh, great color all the way through. And here is the Dresden mark on it. Uh, again, this one will be up at auction in two weeks. Let's see the next one. That was fun. Not, kind of, it's like Christmas morning here. I get excited about unwrapping antiques. Does that make me weird? I don't know, maybe it does. Oh, this is cool. Look at the Nippon, look at the work in the Nippon in the scene. I love the color. That's got a nice mark, that's gorgeous. Wonderful piece of Nippon. Again, guys, I'm seeing this for the first time. Um, this is a collection that I bought and we're gonna sell it all. It'll all start at a dollar and it'll go where it goes. I've just learned over the years, just don't worry about it. Um, 
buy it for a fair price, a reasonable price, sell it, uh, build our customer base, and our customers um, really are, they, they come with us every week and they bid competitively and we appreciate them all. Man, that is a match pair. Those are absolutely stunning. Here's the mark. You can see that or not. Hand painted, I love that red, red mountain scene in there. Uh, okay, let's well, see, that was fun. This one says fragile, this side up. Let's see what else we got. How much did that give for the porcelain? So I paid 750 for all of the porcelains. If somebody wants to know, uh, hey Jacob, how much were the porcelains? So they were 750. Okay. It's exciting. Ooh. This one is marked Heron. Okay, let's check this guy out. A Heron white porcelain figurine. Not sure who he is. I'm just looking at it for the very first time. Uh, really cool. And the mark, this is what I love about this guy. He, he actually like, shows me where the marks are and identifies it all and then says, hey, at auction, this piece should bring this much. Um, and I've just, we've just come, we've came to a really great uh, trust, partnership, partnership, friendship. I'm not sure what we call it, but uh, really inter interesting. Let's see what else we got here. Another porcelain, feels like, okay. That's empty. Ooh. Check it out. This is another heron piece. Man, those are absolutely stunning pieces of heron. And then here is your mark on the bottom. Um, okay, so let's. Uh, that's four. So we got one, two, three, four, five pieces of porcelain so far. Um, let me see what else we got. Nice basket. Yeah, I think this is more of the porcelains. Oh, this is fun. This is Franz. It's signed. It's like a chickadee, uh, chickadee pattern. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's your marks on it. Let's put that one down. Paper can go bye bye. So you guys uh, that are out there, they get to open up Christmas presents on Christmas morning. I get to open up Christmas like all year round because I feel like it's kind of what I do. Uh, just a nice piece of stoneware. There we go. English. Uh, that's salt glaze. That's probably English. This is a Royal Bond. Um, a nice Royal Bond mark on the bottom. A little hand painted one. This one's not as an exciting of a box as the, uh, with the hair end, obviously, but it's still fun, sellable stuff. Here's another Nippon piece. Um, well, actually, Noritake mark on this one. But it's got the, uh, what is that? Uh, acorns? What is it called? Yeah. On the inside. And it's got nice decoration on the feet. And it's got the good, uh, good mark on the bottom. Easy to identify mark. Another piece of Royal Bond. I used to buy a lot of Royal Bond in South Florida uh, when it was really, really hot. Um, but that, that was a fun little piece. It's got the hand painted across the front. Royal Bond. Royal Bond's definitely an item that's dropped in price considerably. I used to get an, you know, an item like this, I would sell for you know, 70 to 100 and a quarter. And that'll probably bring 20 to 40 today. Royal Wooster, same, uh, it's just down in price, but there's still there's still a decent market for it. Here's what that piece looks like. So yeah, I mean, this, this is the, uh, we got one more box back here. It'll be interesting to see. This is fun, now I like these. These are probably Limoges. Um, I don't know if there's a whole set or what, but these are fish plates. Hopefully there's a platter or some more pieces to it. Most of these fish sets would have uh, like anywhere, usually 10, 10, 10 or 12 plates and then a platter. Um, you know, the big sets, that's what when we sold them over the years, that's the ones that have done the most. Little Jap Japanese Jasper ware. If you can see that one or not. Put that one down here. I think it's like Austria maybe or French, French, French piece, a little porcelain, French porcelain. 
another thing about this gentleman that um, that I do this with, and, and I've only got like two or three people that I that I work this close with, where I just we just know I've done this so long we we can just trust each other and um, and, and do a lot of business. But one thing I like about what he does is he gets ninety percent plus directly out of homes, um, and he just tries to buy it in fair prices. All right, so this is part of the porcelain groupings. Check it out. This is Italian. It is signed. Here's the mark, and I don't have my glasses on, so I cannot read that without my glasses. You guys could probably see it easier than me. But what I do like about it is the quality of the figurine itself. Absolutely stunning uh, piece of porcelain. Look at all the work, all the color, all through here. Lots of hand-painted piece, uh, pieces on it or areas on it. And the coloring in this one is absolutely stunning. So that is the last piece from this collection of porcelain that we paid the $750 for. So I need to look at my list and see if that is everything. So Chinese box, I, I didn't show you guys this, I carried those because it was already unwrapped. And this is fun. Nice jade decorated uh, Chinese box with jade panels all the way around. Um, see the prints and paintings I'll show to you in just a second. Some estate, miscellaneous estate items here, the Tiffany, the Tudor, the Bulgari, the coins, the Tiffany, the Omega, my gold. So that is it. That is all I bought from this gentleman. Um, let me show you the artwork real quick. So this is just a grouping of the art that also came with the collection. And when I was picking these up, he actually showed and went over all three of these pieces with me. And they're all three listed artists um, that are, that are uh, you know, pretty, pretty high listings. Um, and we, we got the group at a reasonable price. And then we have a little um, down here, a Japanese woodblock. This is a Yoshida, I believe it was Yoshitora, uh, 1850 to 1870s on the uh, Samurai wood block down here and then again these paintings are all listed and we'll have all of this online i'll probably add another couple hundred paintings so here's here's about this artist uh joseph uh if you can read that joseph o o'malley looks like it says joseph o'malley um yeah and so so like i said i just learned to, to work with this gentleman in a good way and he gets me lots of really fun rare things and then here's just another overview here are the dolls Madam Alexander, the porcelains, the glass, all the bigger porcelains all through here. And down here, we have another painting that you didn't get to see yet. Let me show you that one. Painting, here's the gold, the Tiffany, cast iron. Well, hopefully that was interesting for you guys. Um, I wanted to just do something special Thanksgiving morning. I thought, let me just go and box this stuff. Talk about how we buy here at the auction um, and all these items we will put up starting at a dollar um, and they will sell to the highest bidder. They're gonna go because uh, we have too much to, in one direction. We gotta keep it moving. But if you're out there and you're buying and you're selling, uh, look for high quality, look, look for good people you can trust to work with. Uh, that's something I'm pretty, um, I, I, like, I like loyalty, you know, and I like, I like that we can trust people and work with them. And if there's ever issues that people I work with, they, are, uh, they just take care of it. So if there would ever be an issue with a piece that would come and broke or a, uh, you know, that I bought or a piece that wasn't gold or whatever, like the, the guys that I work with, um, they take care of it. Uh, and we test everything ahead of time. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day with your family. It's Thanksgiving morning, Thursday morning. And my wife, uh, right before I came down here, I helped her put the turkey in the oven. And we have a surprise Thanksgiving at our house that I have to get home now for and get ready. And we're gonna have probably 50 or so people. And then uh, you're gonna be watching this on Friday. We're probably, probably have already had a live auction on Whatnot with Kate for my second time. So this, is, this one was a planned one. The last one was spontaneous. Uh, she's running the auction. I'm just kind of helping out and I wanna see how this works. But to all of you out there, I'm coming with something that's gonna be really cool for Whatnot. We are working on some plans in the future. Stay tuned to Burner Brothers. We're gonna, we're gonna really try and change, uh, change some things around here that we've never done before.